still alive. to go. Okay, Samus. Everything's normal. I awoke to the familiar voice of a quarantine officer. Let's try sitting up, huh? Slowly now. A dream. I had been reliving the tragic moments of my recent past. Thanks to the hyperbeam, which was given to me somehow by the baby, I laid Mother Brain to waste. And the explosion that followed destroyed Planet Zebus along with the remains of Mother Brain, the Space Pirates, and my long-standing nemesis, Ridley, and the baby. Come on, Samus. Let's go next door. I wondered if this, too, was a result of the power the baby gave me. Right. You're due in the meeting room. The big dogs are waiting. I gave your suit a polish so you'd be at least somewhat presentable. Not even a fragment. None of the baby remained on me. I knew it to be true, but still couldn't help looking at my palm for a sign. Never again would I encounter the baby. Never. The finality of it struck me once again. Mission completed. The planet Zebes was annihilated and all Metroids were exterminated. A simple report, almost dull even, but it felt momentous to me. I don't know how much time passed since then. Days went by in their quiet way, and people's recollections of Metroids and space pirates grew nebulous over time relegated to a past concern of the galactic communities. Nothing more than a faded memory.
codenamed Baby's Cry. A common SOS with the urgency of a baby crying. The nickname comes from the fact that the purpose of the signal is to draw attention. The signal was coming from a remote part of space. I altered the course of my ship as if this detour had already been part of my flight plan. Baby's Cry. It was as though it was crying specifically for me.